Good evening and welcome to the BS of A. I'm your host, Brian yeah. Sack. Well, uh... Welcome to Rush to Judgment, the show that, how do you think it's going so far? The best one ever, Brian. Too much too soon. All clear for POTUS. You want to see my POTUS? No, 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 no. Can I kidnap you and you marry my son when he is old enough? Now for the Republican response, we turn to this seven-month-old baby. Baby, are Republicans to blame for the economy? I need you to take this home and hang it up in your living room. This target reminds me of Blue Man Group. If you shoot Blue Man Group, you're gonna have a lot of people angry at you. I mean, I don't know about a lot of people. You know what, not even my horn is funny anymore. Hepatitis alert. I'm sorry, I'm looking for a taxi. I am a taxi, a libertarian taxi. Where to? 48th and 2nd, please. You betcha. And where on earth would that be? Seriously, that's like basic level taxi stuff. You have to know where that is. Well, testing creates barriers to entry. Like, I need the government telling me which streets I need to know. Okay, but as a customer, I need you to know where you're going. Oh, absolutely. And then I will lose business to people who know how to drive better than me. Yep, yeah, but that hurts you. Yeah, exactly. That's the beauty of the free market system. The best and brightest rise to the top. <sighs> All right. Just go up 10th to 48th and then take a right. You don't have to buckle your seatbelt, by the way. Your choice. Great. Should I assume you're going to follow the traffic laws? Grudgingly. Do you know what message resonates with voters? But I'm going to stop you right there. What flavor Gatorade is that? Merlot. What makes you an expert on bullying, Ken? Mm, that question's gay. Whose idea was it to run all the healthcare exchanges off of an iPad? That's a Bosco idea. Bosco? He's a Croatian dude we found at Craigslist. I'm joined today by three experts to discuss the issues of the day that are of interest to me. Well, the game is afoot, isn't it, Brian? Chancellor Adolf Hitler, how do you feel about breastfeeding? Well, that's weird. Uh, Rachel Maddow and Alex Jones are in love. This seems like as good a time as any to announce that I've kidnapped the son of Ronald McDonald. We sent our new correspondent, Matt Yeager, out on the streets of New York to talk to folks about the drug war, a topic that's dear to him because he's a recovering crystal meth addict who promised me that he's got his life together. This can't be a good idea. Matt? This is good pose? This is, this is professional? Hi, I'm Matt Yeager with the BS of A. I said A. I said BS of A. No, that is the name. Hey, this is Matt Yeager. I'm on assignment with the BS of A in New York City's Union Square talking to human people about their thoughts on the drug war. I'm not going to let you down. Rolling. OK. Uh, I mean, uh, what is your name again? I do something called marijuana. Alcohol and marijuana. That's about all I do. OK. And men, but it's addictive bad for you in different ways. What you can't guarantee with men is the quality of the drug. Never, never have, never will. Never touched it. So you don't have any on you right now? Negatory. I'm not a cop. Okay, that's good. I don't have any on me. Are you a cop? Yes, I am. You're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time anybody smiled when they said that. <laughs> what family member would you fight in the Thunderdome that you knew you could defeat for food? I always go for grandma because they're the weakest. If these scandals got out of hand and the president wound up in prison, what do you think his prison experience would be? I think he would trade nuclear codes for cigarettes. Do you think Michelle would bake him a cake? but instead of a nail file, it would be a teleprompter. I was inspired by Anthony Weiner. He's like the Rosa Parks of perverts, you know? I'm an extreme sex addict, and I'm running for mayor. How much cocaine do you think I could traffic inside my body across the border? A third of your weight, maybe? Wrong. Half my weight. One time a balloon exploded in me, I was up for four days. You go swimming? Sure do. Where? Swimming pool. What swimming pool do you have access to? Uncles, friends. Your uncle's friend? Stay out of that guy's swimming pool. Um, <laughs> that's a trick or a trap. Let me read your face. Where have those hands been? In my crotch and on my anus. What brings you to Times Square today? Drinking. Cool. It's 10 a.m. I once punched a shark to death. Good. Would you wrestle me now? Sure. Come on. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. How was that wedding you listened to now? 
bad reception. Oh, you gonna eat them peas? You can just try to find something plaid to hide behind. Tear down this pie. Will you accept this shack? Ignition override pending breathalyzer. Oh, come on. Chevy Bloomberg. This is labia? Libya, sir. No, no, it's a labia. Your son has tested positive for liberal. No! You made $200 million in Christmas bonuses? You should get in the bank and it's great. This is Pepito, my new friend, the anchor baby. I reckon someone here is going to have to kill me. <laughs> Welcome to the BS of A season two premiere. I'm Brian Sack. And now, this week's BS. President Obama told a group of... Uh, Okay, why are they why are they rolling the credits? Because you blew through like 30 minutes getting the gang back together. That's one episode closer to our inevitable death, gang. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. But I have jokes. I hope they're not topical jokes. Oh, they're very topical jokes. This is the season where we're gonna start doing topical jokes. Forget it. There's porn sites on my computer at home that aren't gonna surf themselves. Can I at least tell one joke? You can try. All right. Come on! 